Hi, John here. It's uh, Sunday today, the 21st of December 2014. Um, I just want to go over 161 Cook Street property and what's happening with the uh, owners, James Brown and Simon Roundtree. Uh, the, the lawyers will be handling it, my lawyer and his lawyer and the lawyer before that where they bought it from, uh, Andrew MacDonald and uh, uh, Mark Hornerbrook. They're the ones that were acting for Jamie Peters in 2008 when he got foreclosed on the property and I was looking after it for him uh, to try and get him off it. Okay, so it had a hundred million outstanding bill to the uh, Westpac Bank. So it was uh, uh, a situation where he had overcommitted himself with other properties in the Gulf Harbour and this one I'm in here, along here as well on the waterfront. So I know a lot of the titles that are here that are locked in those sort of uh, agreements. Okay, so Simon Rountree and uh, uh, James Brown have uh, have no experience of property development. They're not property developers, as I watched on his video, uh, James Brown, uh, talking about the uh, rail and Len Brown. So they're working together to try and flip some money between them. Right? There's big fraud going on here. Uh, this video is for you, Simon and uh, James Brown, Simon Roundtree. It's directed to you because I'm going to seize that property from you legally, uh, without any fuss or bother, it's because you have to go back uh, and check the titles again to see where the problem was. They're covering it up, okay? So you'll have to go back, uh, back with your lawyer, back to get your money from Mark Honorbrock, conveyances, and, and Mark, and uh, uh, the other lawyer. Andrew MacDonald, okay? So they're the crooks. They're the Australian crooks uh, with uh, Doug Rickard Bell who set this whole thing up to... Uh, that's why he sold it cheap. That's why you got it for 35 million when its government valuation is 55.5 million. Uh, and there's something wrong when that happens. Why, why it's been sold like that is because Doug Rickard Bell wanted to get out of the problem that he stuck in with me. He stuck to me, okay? And now you're, you're just about stuck to me because I'm going to give you an affidavit next week and you'll have seven days to refute it. Seven days. Only seven days. By the 12th of January 2015, my lawyer would be getting in touch with you and your lawyer. And if you try to interfere or tamper with our evidence in these titles of that block, then you risk losing it. Outright, okay? You'll lose it outright. Oops. You know, I've just got to get these things out because I had them all over here ready to go. I'm going to make them all mess up. Uh, so, um, I just want to let you know that uh, it's very serious. It's very serious when you don't know real estate and I do. I know it inside out. So, this is the... This is the... Um, arrest warrant on that property. I've been holding off. I've been holding off till such time as the council, Auckland City Council's in trouble, uh, Doug Ricard Bell's in trouble, the council, the, the Crown is in trouble, the government's in trouble, they're all in trouble. You know why? Because they got no Queen. Okay? There's no Queen on their documents to authenticate where they swear their oath to of office. Now, I don't want to let you know right now, just at that point in time, that the mortgages are liable now. All mortgages are liable because they get the authority from Australia, Victoria, state government, and the connection of Queen Victoria to uh, Westminster. You see? So now I've got orders over the governor of the state of Victoria, Australia that he cannot get the monarchy of Queen Victoria for his titles, for his oath of office. 
and I've just worn Alex Salmon here, right? You see him there? He's got everything on Facebook now. He's watching, he's looking, he's reading that he's going to team up with me over there, him being Scotland, me being Rogan, uh, Wānoa, and Moai statue over there. That's our memorial. We've got a flag of uh, King William IV, and we've got memorials, okay? We've got memorial statues and King William statues in uh, Devonport, right there, okay? Devonport in England and Devonport here. I'm seizing Devonport there and seizing Devonport here and putting our new Westminster government here, okay? I'm going into Westminster government as Rogan. Okay, so these titles here that I'm doing here in the book is Rogan, okay? They're the Crown British titles. They're not Lynn's Australia second-hand titles, okay? So those are subjected to what we say on those land blocks with mortgages. I'm cancelling the mortgages and billing them. And if anything happens, anything happens with the Crown interfering with our titles or the real estate or the bank, the ASB, your ASB bank, if they interfere with the titles, they'll get the bill for another five billion. Just the bank, because there's five billion outstanding to pay in pound notes now. The pound notes we've got on Facebook are the real pound notes to the Westminster government, our partners. They are our partners. Our partners, the Maui Hapu natives of this country. I'm saying I own the land. You know why? Because there's the birth certificate that says so. Okay, that's all that's needed was the birth certificate at 1832. Right? 1832, Otai Manukau. Male. Okay? Sufficient enough to say, where's yours? Right? No one has got, the government hasn't put these names back onto the titles, 1834. Right? Te Mati Manukau. That's the Manukau that I was doing all these titles for. I wanted to put his name on that Lynn's title. By law of section 145A and 145 of the one, uh, 1950, 1952 Land Transfer Act, they are supposed to put unregistered interests on the land. Even though we had no financial interest, we are the landlord land owners. Not Ngāti Whātua or Grant Hawk or Tamaki or uh, Tuhaire or, or Tinana or those guys at Kawao. The Kawao is not the owners on these British titles. They're on the Lynn's titles in Australia under the Victoria titles that have no more monarchy now. So you see, because the Queen left you high and dry. That means the government here is operating illegally with the Queen above the judge head and the Queen above my lawyer's head. I said to them, who are you swearing your oath to? No answer. I left it at that. I said, right, give me this book back. Give me this book back. I'll take it to another conveyancing lawyer who will do it. He says, no, 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 leave it, leave it. I'll do it, I'll do it. That stitched him to me in binding the crown to me in what I say now. His crown, Queen Elizabeth's crown, that's not there. Now, what, what, what are you using for a crown now? for these titles. That's what I'm saying. The mortgages are only Admiralty titles and they come under King William Admiralty, not Queen Victoria. She's not an Admiral to make decisions. I'm there as the King's surrogate, King William the Fourth surrogate, to actually speak for his titles and the Scottish land titles. The Manukau Land Company belongs to the real estate company in Scotland, Glasgow, with Manukau's titles on it, on this land block, on Cook's Jake. Okay, Mr. Simon Roundtree, you folks will learn a thing or two. The, the bank is learning a lot from me, right, Julie Sewell. She's learned a lot from me. And the lawyer is quickly discovering that he has no authority over me. So he has to do what he's told when I tell him to do this, do this. Put the pound note. He accepted the pound note of, of Moai's pound note as currency to pay his bill out of 10 million of 5 billion and I'll take the rest. Okay? So that's 
that's how he gets paid. That's how he gets paid. And he's accepted that in a contract he signed with me. And uh, going ahead. He's going ahead to put all these into the High Court of Admiralty in London, Judge David Lindsay Mackey. I'll be going there to see him to take to force these through Westminster, to force everything, the Queen, off the land, to force the Rothschilds off the land and seize all their properties with this warrant. Okay? So I'm using this warrant on this block of land up here. And if you don't refuse it, Mr. Simon Roundtree and James Brown, if you do not refute it within the seven days that I say, then you fall into a default contract, commercial lien contract with me, and you will lose everything you own, all your businesses. I'm telling you, I'm warning you, I'm warning you, I know what I'm doing above the law here. Okay? They have no jurisdiction in these courts over what I do. Even the Supreme Court here, uh, Sean Elias, Chief Justice, I've got a warrant to arrest her and hang her, right? And John Key. They're going to hang under these Hanging in Chains Act. Okay? I'm just telling Alex Salmon here, Alex Salmon, they're going to hang because they broke God's law, Moai law, and broke King William's law and uh, corrupted it. They have corrupted the uh, Queen Victoria's title. Right? You see here. Victoria, Government Gazette, for the 23rd, I'll read it out, okay? I, Alex Chernoff, ACQC, Governor of the State of Victoria, acting under Section 8 and 20 of the Constitution Act 1975, and all other powers vested in me, fixed 23rd December 2014 at 10am, as the time for the commencement and holding of the first session of the 58th Parliament of Victoria for the dispatch of business at Parliament House, Melbourne, the members of the Legislative Council and the members of the Legislative Assembly, Lower House that is, the other one is Upper House, are required to attend at that time and place, given under my hand and seal of the State of Victoria of, at Melbourne, this 15th day of December 2014. Alex Chernoff, Governor by His Excellency Command, Daniel Andrews, MP, Premier of Victoria, Australia. Okay, so I'm just telling you, you two, your title is subjected to these guys having no queen because she's a CEO of her own private companies, okay? So I'm billing her as a private company and my own private company, Nayatu Ewa Aotea Limited, which is billing your company, right? Your company is called City Works Depot Limited, okay? That's the old council's name of the Works Depot when it was there long ago. Okay, so you picked that up because it's been bodgy that way. The title that you've got is a lemon. It's a bad title, you two. So I suggest that I warn you, you better by the 12th clear off that land and go back to the lawyer. Because if you don't, if I, if I find that my lawyer has to go and engage in your lawyer to engage in the other Hornibrook lawyer, it's going to cost you for our bill from him. You're going to pay for everything I've been putting together since 2008. There's the first title of Jamie Peters right there. All the numbers and all the titles and all the fraud in there, okay, in this one. This is the one I handed to Bailey's not to sell the property. They sold it when I, I I said it's supposed to, by law, supposed to have our names on the title. Well, they didn't put it on the title. So those are the those are the all the titles there. Okay, I'm just showing you because you won't have them. You won't have them, and they don't appear anywhere on the record now because they've got rid of them. The legislative acts then. The reform acts of the, the, the 1952 uh, Land Transfer Act was altered and modified at that time because of the fraud. Right? And, the, and these things are there for the fraud, to catch the fraud. We caught the fraud then, it's still there now. It doesn't mean that you've got a title that it's squeaky clean. No, it's corrupted back here. And because of that, 
all this loft goes back through there. It's already in the High Court of Admiralty in London, going over it. They are watching you. They are watching them. They are watching the council. They are watching the government. They can shut them down, if I say so. Okay, shut the whole lot down, if I say so. But we don't want to shut you down. We want to stay there as levy debtors to Maui Crown King William's Trust. Okay, trust as the levy creditor. That's my position, levy creditor with the pound note, his pound note and his gold coins. Okay, so all that money that's missing, we're going to recover with the British military. They're going to come here, they're going to set up on my land blocks down the east coast and they're going to recover every scrapping cent that's missing. They're going to audit everybody's business, okay? Because the Queen's gone. You've gone with her into the EU Parliament. All of you are now uh, alien. Alien in exile government to EU Parliament where your Queen has gone. That's your Queen. That's how you got on the land. That's how you, you've got all the wealth you've got through that Queen. We're going to bill you for amassing all the fraud that she's done with the King George I, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. And then Queen Victoria, she corrupted. And Rothschilds, Rothschilds married Queen Victoria, no, didn't marry Queen Victoria. She was already with King uh, Albert. He was a dud. So the Rothschilds got stuck into her little twat and made nine kids that are mafias now, running havoc around the world. Those are the ones we're going after with the British military. It's going to arrest a whole lot of them, including Prince Andrew, the trustee of Queen Victoria Trust that belongs to us. Our beneficiaries are here. Okay, all the native peoples here and the settled people here on Devonport, as ignorant as they are on Devonport and Auckland here, they're going to get the bill for being ignorant and for not letting our flag fly up at Devonport when the lady the curator in the museum over there, the art gallery, wanted to put the flag up in the street. They said, no, you're going to get the bill, all of you, from this Devonport in England, and we're going to seize everything off you in Devonport here. Right back into the king. Everything back into the king. Every business in the country is affected by what's happened here. Now, that's the title of the road in question, where... Don Grant from Australia, that's the receipt there, for the road, just for the documents I paid for. Right, the road there. The road, that's in the middle of that section, at 161 Cook Street. It was 61 Cook Street before. That's why the lawyer couldn't find it, because he said there's no such thing as 61 Cook Street. He's got a one in front of him now. You see? So you fellas have been hiding away all these things, with the old titles there. Okay, so I'm saying the road title was redundant. It was, it was gone. It was still in a... Uh, uh, survey office title and then it was sold uh, to Jamie Peters he bought the lease rights out and he had it freehold the whole lot including the road right so what they did the crooks did Don Grant from Australia the surveyor uh, in retirement over there the surveyor general Doug Rickard Bell the property developer bought him here and he got a job in Linz to alter alter and forged the little road going through the section to make it live again and made a title out of it with its number then dumped the 300 million investment in it with the landowners that were invested the money in it and lost it. Okay, so I was there for them too but they didn't want me to do anything. They just wanted to lose it. Okay, so, so they lost it. Okay, so that's where the crookery is and they're not going to get away with it. Okay, that's what I'm saying, Simon. You better back off, because that section is rife in fraud, and you're right in it. If you say, like I say, if you stay there and stay and stop me doing my private business, because I've got private business, then you fall victim in default of the fraud. You, you become an accessory, like the police that stopped me, right? Aaron Pascoe, the uh, criminal investigator, uh, that did the tour her raids and got that stuffed up. He, he told me not a good idea to go on a section. 
Right, right. That put him and his 13,000 police on the bill. Okay? I warned them. I warned them. They don't take me seriously. There's the titles there. Okay? There's my rejected. Rejected title. See? Rejected. Can you see rejected? Right? That's my lapse of caveat. 14 day notice lapse of caveat that I have a title to register these names on it. And they said I had no financial interest in it. Right? But we are the original owners and they're supposed to put this caveat on there. They didn't. That's the offence. That's one offence. That's the road is another offence. This one's worse because we are taking the whole lot out now. We have the right, we have the right to seize the lot. There's our documents. I'm just showing the public and the world of the original documents back in 2008. Okay? They still apply with all the laps of caveat. See? Laps of caveat. Okay? Laps of caveat. I want to be very clear to you, all you people watching that I'm in real estate and I know what to do. Okay? So all of that and the property property law acts here, step down to lodge, at that time, those were the laws then. We followed the law. We followed the law right down to a T. And the Land Register General, it was six months before he sent this reject letter. Six months, okay, before we got it back. And it's supposed to be 14 days. It's supposed to be 14 days. 5th of August 2009. That's when we got an answer back from this uh, uh, lodgement of this, of this uh, caveat. Okay, so, so that was the problem that it had lapsed. It had lapsed and it became legal, effective. Everything that I did became legal. Now it's becoming some more legal. It, in fact, you've got no queen to make yours legal. You see, so you're really, really in a big mess. And it wasn't your fault, but however, if you, if you don't play the game, see, 20th, 21st of October 2008. And, and that's why it's taken that long to get back. Okay, so here's what it says. For the me time being, we will implement a new business rule with land online. Transfers and mortgages which are currently auto registration will step down to lodge if the land involves, involved is flagged with potential Maori freehold land status. This effectively means that all instruments affecting Maori land will be subject to further review by LINS to re verify that the requirements of the Te Whenua Maori Land Act uh, have been uh, uh, complied with. Upon receipt of dealing, Investigation will be carried out by Lens Processing Centre to establish whether or not the land is Mary Freehold land and if so, whether the appropriate Mary Land Court confirmation has been obtained. If necessary, an, a, a requisition will be required by law to produce appropriate evidence of Mary Court confirmation. So these are all Mary lands at the beginning, right? When Rogan put the thing, it was Mary land seeds. In the story. In the story. Doesn't matter what anybody says. It was Maori land. Right, here's the one that gets the lawyers. Where the lawyer, listen, listen up, Schedule 9, 5th of August 2009. This is the event of things and on this, from LIMS. This was LIMS, Sharon Cottrell, General Manager of Customs Services, Land Register General Robert Moore. Uh, he's in trouble. Uh, Chris Moore, Chair, New Zealand Law Society, Property Law Section. This is the reforms, you see. So listen to this. Confirmation process, where the lawyer has certified that they have complied with the requirement of Tituria Whenua Māori Act 1993, they will need to lodge an image of the Māori land confirmation with the instrument. Okay, I'll explain them. Where there is no such evidence, and no such confirmation, the Lens Property Rights Analysts, PRAs, will ask the lawyers to produce this certification, Lins will accept a copy of Maori Land Court confirmation. This copy can be faxed, emailed, and photocopied and posted to Lins. Lins will require this evidence before the land transaction is registered. Now, I'll go back to this bit. They need to lodge an image of the Maori Land Court confirmation with the instrument. Right, these were Maori lands when they first cut them up in Auckland. Okay, in Lynn's converting from crown title. So I'm going on the crown title 
before it became freehold. Okay, the freehold titles are Lynn's New Zealand, Australia, Victoria, New South Wales titles. Okay, so I'm using the other Rogan one, Rogan title, over the Lynn's title to start with, just, just to start the process with. I've gone and did that and showed them, but they still turned a blind eye and ignored it. Right, that's going to be the worst thing they ever, ever did. It's going to cost them every single thing they've got, every person that's in it. There, look, look it says, in the matter of the survey of Turanganui Gisborne Block, Poverty Bay District, I, John Rogan of Auckland, in the province district of Auckland, in the colony of New Zealand, inquire, ex esquire, a judge of uh, Native Lands Court. Native Lands Court? Look, read it. You have to take my word, what I'm saying about Rogan, my family, in Auckland, native titles. Okay? So it has got drawings they, they, they got rid of. The Lynn's got rid of the Manukau titles and uh, Simon's. They murdered Simon's when he got here in 1840 with these titles. And he disappeared as being drowned in 1841. That's when the titles changed from these original British titles. That's what I've got a bone to pick with you, Simon Roundtree and James Brown. I'm telling you, you better clear off the land because I'm coming up with this and you've got no queen and that's a king and Westminster talking and I'm talking in Westminster as the King Surrogate King of England. Okay, Jamie, you're going to take some films because that's your new job to film everything as evidence for the court when we get there. This court here, this lawyer, my lawyer, Yu Tai Choi, is going to get all the paperwork, these things again sent to the High Court of Admiralty in London. I'm going straight into the court and that's the end of it. That's the end of it, okay? So I'm going to read it to you one more time. In the matter of the survey of Turanganui, Gisborne, that is, Gisborne, number 12, number 2, block, Poverty Bay, district. So he's doing the titles at the East Coast and Hawke's Bay from Auckland, right? From Auckland. 15th of September, 1874. Okay, Mr. Rogan is from Victoria, Melbourne, Australia, and the Prime Minister, Mr. Melbourne, from Britain. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Okay, right, right, this is what it says. I, I, John Rogan, of Auckland, in the province district of Auckland, in the colony of New Zealand, in Esquire, a judge, he's a judge, of the Native Land Court. He's a Native Land Court. For goodness sake, we're talking about land courts in here. In this one. Alright. Okay. Of New Zealand. Do solemnly and sincerely declare that I, together with Henry Alfred Mus Musco, Esquire being in the judge, one of the judges of the Native Lands Court, aforesaid were appointed, appointed then, in the Commission, Commission, right, Land Commissioner in my family, to adjudicate upon certain land claims near Poverty Bay in the said provincial district, and such appointment was then notified in the New Zealand Gazette, right? We're just looking at the Gazette here in this document here of the 23rd of December 2014 Victoria State Government in Australia. 
okay? This is why I want to make a good video so you can hear what I'm saying clearly that they have no queen and they're gonna try and bodge you without asking me or Westminster if they can borrow Queen Victoria. Well, I'm just telling you, no, you can't. You won't, you never will. And so this government is head of monarchy or sovereignty. It's cut off, right? When the Queen cut off and went to the EU Parliament, she went as a private corporation business of her own as a CEO. Now, I can sue her or bill her as a CEO to CEO and CEO to COU, director of that company, City Works Depot Limited, Auckland, Simon Roundtree, James Brown. CEO, CEO. King of England, CEO, CEO. Right? And car park manager. That's all you are. Me, property developer. King. What else? Mechanic. Okay? Fix it up. Right. Now, I'm just saying, this is the letter here. The affidavit to um, Alex Chernov, Governor of the State of Victoria, Australia. Telling him, you can't use Victoria because she's corrupted by Rothschilds. I was saying, the Rothschild families married, or didn't marry, they screwed Queen Victoria while she was still married to Prince Albert. Okay? She was still married to Prince Albert and the Rothschilds were screwing her ass to make nine kids who are now the mafia all over the world that the British military is going after to recover everything they stole. We are seizing everything off the Rothschilds because of that, because of corrupting our Queen Victoria Trust Fund, the Gold Trust Fund that belongs to us beneficiaries here in New Zealand. Their company here of the Queen is was the New Zealand Business Roundtable. You see they've changed their name in 2012 to the Intuition New Zealand Limited Company. They're going to get the bill too. A big, big, fat bill from us. Okay? From straight from Britain. Straight from Britain. They're cut off. They cannot go back into Britain because of those fraud, criminal activity that we've proven <coughs> to be mafia cabals uh, of King George I, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and Queen Victoria unfortunately is in the middle of it because of her kids uh, uh, being to Rothschild, the murderer and the assassins of King Edward VIII, okay, Hitler's half-brother, okay. That's why Hitler put the First World War, because of that, Rothschilds. And they're going to lose the Bank of England when I get there, because the British military and the British police are there for England, okay? And Alex Salmon here, Alex, our friend Alex Salmon, he's got his uh, uh, challenge to uh, Westminster uh, with the Scottish government, okay? So, um, so we've got, we're going, I'm going there as Rogan for England. Right, I'm there representing England as a candidate in Devonport uh, as being bloodline to England soil anyway, <coughs> and um, uh, through Rogans and the uh, um, politics that they set up, Rogan set up. Okay, so um, that uh, that flag we have, the Declaration of Independence flag, 1835, is all over the world. It opened up the way for King George III for America and uh, Washington DC state of the Queen. Everything the Queen's got is that she says she owns 66 million acres of land around the world, I'm seizing, okay, as the King of England, back into the King's Trust. And Queen Victoria Trust, we're seizing all that too. So the British military will have a job to do. Uh, and I become a British citizen straight away with the flag. When the flag, I put the flag up in Devonport. England, it takes precedent over everything around the world, okay, everything of the, because he put these acts together for the uh, uh, Queen to use, and she abused it, she actually corrupted the whole King William's uh, acts of Parliament that are in this book, 
everything everything of this is a court on wheels you don't need to go anywhere we can do it online anywhere standing up anywhere those are the acts there some of the acts okay acts that's the hanging chains act the execution act you know you can go and execute them with this that's what obama's using this he's using that. if he's using this and using our flag he's in trouble he'll hang first straight away from the same hanging act okay same only a king can do this only one king left he was the only king left all the other kings gone only King William's title is there, and no one in the world can use uh, any more, any more King George the <coughs> Third that uh, Obama's using. He's using his admiralty authority to kill everybody. Okay, so that's why we're going to take it off him. So anyway, I'm just want to read the uh, letter to um, to Australia before I run out of film, and it stops right in the middle, like last time. Uh, so here's the letter. Uh, for um, um, Alex Chernoff. I'm going to read it now. <coughs> Governor of Victoria, uh, uh, Australia, 17th of 12th, 2012. So I'm giving him a notice before the 2012, uh, I mean the 2014, the 23rd, when he opens his parliament up, uh, uh, 58th uh, Parliament of Australia, uh, in Victoria, not to use the Queen Victoria. So attention, Alex Chernoff in the capitals, okay? Dear Alex Chernoff, I write to you expressing our King William IV Admiralty Court Martial Law jurisdiction and state ruling authority is superior law of Westminster and constitution of the 1835 Acts of Maui Crown, King William IV of Devonport, England, King's Bench High Court of Admiralty, over what is now a Victoria State Government, Australia, with no monarch sovereign, legitimate Queen of England jurisdiction of Admiralty. She cut off the Admiralty. <coughs> she moved, removed the Queen's title from Britain, UK, no longer Queen of England, but now a CEO of her own international private corporations, names called Washington DC, Buckingham Palace, her Majesty the Queen and Right of Australia, Her Majesty the Queen and Right of New Zealand, Her Majesty the Queen and Right of Canada, Her Majesty the Right and Right of America, Her Majesty the in Right the Queen and Right of Britain, Her Majesty's Treasury, Queen Victoria Trust Fund. Those are her private businesses that Maui Crown and King William Surrogate is seizing through with the British military and Westminster government, our commercial levy um, creditors, business contract, trading bank partners with King William IV and the Moai Hapu native indigenous people of the Pacific. Okay, that's 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 really it. That's really the contract with the flag we have. To go around the world, okay. <clears throat> that's the only flag that has free passage through the world is the King William the Fourth flag, and a bank protectorate flag. You'll notice on the flag that the red cross of King George is is shut out with the black seal of King William to shut out King George from his George because he's a George, and they shut them sideways as William, okay, to get the other Georges, in, the Georges in the straight line without him. So, unfortunately, they didn't put the acts together of Admiralty for these commercial contracts, banking instruments we have to control of now. Okay? And the pound note, and his money, and his printing press, uh, mint, uh, legislative acts. We, we, we can use those acts because we're still uh, a, a, a sovereign state under Section 71 of the 1852 Constitution. We have our own 1835 Constitution with the flag. That is a uh, constitution and also a jurisdiction of Admiralty okay, and British military in it, protectorate. That's what it is. Okay. And the four stars, the four corners of the earth, right? The planet, the four in the one corner. Okay, right. Uh, she is controlling the Queen that is, was, is, she's controlled, she is now controlling Westminster Parliament 
uh, as a CEO from EU Parliament. Okay, so she's an exiled government, alien. She is an alien, Alex Salmon, and the British government, and the British military, and the British people, and the Maui people in the Pacific, and everybody in the world. She is enemy number one in the EU Parliament, taking herself off the land of England with all the stolen gold and the money and her, uh, our trust. The worst of all, it's a trust. Okay, that's how everything works on these Admiralty and King William trusts. They were set up for trusts, and she's taken off with it, okay? With her Rothschild families. That's the trouble. That's where we're going after them. And the popes. The popes are in it too, the Catholic Church, Church and State, and the Church of England. All the churches get the bill. Okay, I'm just warning you churches, you're going to get the bill. Because I know the churches in Auckland, back to front, okay? The Methodist Church down Queen Street. Where those properties were that little Methodist church was coming after those properties. Okay? They still belong to us. You're going to lose them. She is controlling Westminster Parliament from EU Parliament in Brussels as a defaulted convicted criminal murderer uh, accused of treason by citizens, that's the ITTCS, uh, citizens for her fraud crimes of church and state charged by the World Court, has arrest warrants on her. I have warrants as John Kakiwano, King William IV, surrogate King of England, Scotland, Ireland, Hanover and Aotea New Zealand and my Pacific Islands over her, okay, and the Rothschilds. Uh, under our doctrines of discovery titles, uh, titles, um, my God's grace face, earth face of the sovereign truth law, law, L-O-R-E, L-A-W, of the Land Memorial, okay? My word against yours, Simon Rantry. It's my word with all these documents against you and what you got, okay? Uh, so I'm being graphic here. These name, those names are criminals attached to Elizabeth Windsor, fraud as Crown Corporation's agents, acting as accessories to collecting the King's Royal Revenue for her King George Mafia family, royal family. Church, state, since 1901, Australia independence, uh, financial benefit and fraud. So you've gained all your money by using the Queen while she's been a fraud all these years from 1952 and especially 2008 when she signed the Lisbon Treaty into private contracts for herself. Okay? So you've been collecting the money for her and yourself. Paying yourself. You stayed it as levy debtors. Okay, uh, government, Victoria, I'm telling you on this video, video in front of Britain, my partner, okay, that you are debtors, you can stay there like that, and they're sick of you, okay, <clears throat> right, while she is uh, your head of state, you're still calling her a head of state for your governor, right, your governor here in, in New Zealand, Canada, America, and, 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 and New Zealand, and Britain, is running under a no queen government. Okay, so you're fraud. There, there's no fraud for this land title. There's another fraud. Okay, I'm just going to rattle on and on and on. Right, head of state. She's still a head of state here for your business because we don't use her as a head of state. We use King William. Okay, one or the other. We're crediting King William's trust from the debtor Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria, and Queen Elizabeth's trust. Okay back into the King's Trust. Uh, head of state, and gone from England. She's gone from England, officially now a threat on my monarch family, Rogan Wanoa of England. Royal blood family, land patent title holders. Right? Land patents? We have land patents here in Auckland. Right? That's the Rogan deal, I just showed you. That's him, and marrying Manukau, Mariah Manukau, and marrying Dick Rogan, marrying Oraiti Wanoa. That's the enemy. No arguments. Uh, right, uh, creditor. Uh, my it's, uh, Royal Revenue's auditing, well, hang on, accuse you, Victoria State Government. I accuse you, Victoria State Government, as a land patent holder. You are involved with Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth fraud business, benefited from her Royal Revenue's auditing now, 
we're going to audit you now. Um, is Moa King William for surrogate court martial creditor? So we'll have marshals with badges to go around. We we'll just issue them badges in Australia to seize everything of the Rothschilds of all the corporates who are got no queen and not likely to get one either or a queen a king. They're not going to use King William. No, no, no. She stole our Queen Victoria Trust Fund and His Majesty's Treasury's Treasury, King's Royal Revenue. You're liable for. You're all liable. Belonging to our Maori Crown Hapu natives beneficiaries. So the beneficiaries are still here on the land this government's trying to buy out and paying their own Maori iwi. That's the Crown's business, Maori iwi. They are not us. They are not the Maori Hapu. It's not them. Okay? So they've duped them. So those, all those iwis can stay there, they'll get the bill too. Okay? They're going to get the bill, the whole lot of them. The whole 4.4 million New Zealanders get the bill, minus just a few of them, a handful of them, with us. Okay? So when I recover all the money from this land here, I've told those ones in England, it belongs to them because they're going to join us when we get there. Right? Anybody that joins claims it. All of it. Right? It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the people of the king. Of England, okay, I'm just there talking king, just like a king, just like a teeth fix. I'll be better than a king. This bill charged levy debtor is over you and your corporations in Australia, Victoria, and the whole New South Wales and the whole of the Commonwealth of Australia. Fraud uh, native titles that have been stolen from our Te Tuli Whenua 1993 Native Land Act. That's a contract between us here and me, the King of England, and Westminster. So you're in trouble with that on its own, okay? And this on top of it, and also the 1986 Constitution. You're in trouble with that too, okay? With Geoffrey Palmer here. He's in trouble. He'll hang Geoffrey Palmer. All those ones who switched and corrupted our King William's titles are going to get the rope. We don't want them here on this land anymore. Okay, that's how Moai works. I'm sorry, God's truth law is real, real tough. If you lie, steal, or fabricate, you lose. Okay, just like that. If you can't answer my affidavits, or you can't argue, then you go. That's how it works. Right? This bill charges levy debtor is over your corporations, her corporations, Buckingham Palace Limited, Washington DC, those are her companies, uh, um, uh, the Rothschilds, City of London, okay, City of London, uh, Buckingham Palace, Washington DC, the bill, and the Pope's Vatican City. They are Maui Crown State levy debtors of 970 million trillion trillion pounds sterling okay in gold bullion that's the equivalent of what we are recovering in real money so we now have pound notes that you see on Facebook that are about to be made legal because the lawyer has signed the agreement that he will be paid out of the pound note and the bank will take it they will take it because I've already gone over it with them the NZ Bank and they will foreclose with that note against ASB for anything they do wrong with the mortgages on our lands. Okay? So there's some people nervous about it. They should be. Uh, so, here we go. Um, so, the Maui State levy just 970 million trillion trillion in sterling ma ma money, pound, gold, bullion, stolen with land, bonds, the humans, that's trafficking children and all that. And, and killing them and eating them, those stupid white people. Real property, that's property that they own. We're seizing all of it. Money over you for people of the world. All that money goes back to the people of the world and King William. Okay, and that's how it is. This levy is against your corporate business person, Alex Chernoff. Okay, so I'm billing you before you make a decision to open your parliament with the Victoria. 
Queen Victoria as a monarch without substantial evidence to connect it to live people in England. And I'm one of them. Okay? I have instant uh, um, citizenship. In fact, I do have now by proclaiming it with the flag that I'm, that I'm there already. Okay? They're already saying I'm over there already, waiting. Okay? So I should have been there, but it doesn't matter. I've made the proclamation that I'm the King of England, and that's the end of it. There ain't no other king that's going to cross that one. It will be up to the British to make the, that decision. They know it's not going to be someone they don't want, especially a mafia. And Prince William, dad, is a Spaniard, okay? And German Spaniard. Yeah? King and Queen Carlos of Spain is his father. And they are the crooks that were the other two trustees with the other crook, Andrew, uh, Prince Andrew, and the Queen as the head of our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. Those are the four crooks where all the gold's gone missing in Philippines, okay? The British military, I'll give them a, a, a badge and, and, and a warrant, this warrant here, this book, this book, to go and get it. Okay? They'll go into Hawaii and they'll seize everything, including John Key's properties, okay? He's, he's going to get hung. If, if the people cry too bad, okay? because he ignored me. He ignored me as being monarch. He didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, all of you people. If you use the Queen Victoria as your monarch, while I am head trustee, private prosecutor, for the trust of Queen Victoria, my state, King William IV, High Court of Admiralty in Devonport, England, King William Yard. Okay, that's where I'm basing myself. Uh, Parliament, government, is the highest court in the world. We now have a legal law case against you as a result of you violating what I'm just saying to keep away from Westminster and not to use Queen Victoria from Westminster's authority because I've taken over the authority there. Okay. Um, law against you, or if any of your 128 MPs and Speaker Christine Fife, so she's on notice from the lower house of uh, Legislative Assembly, that's the lower house, and the President of your Legislature Council, Bruce Atkinson, he's the upper house okay, of Lords, not even Lords now. I'm a king, and you don't need lords when you've got a king. The lords were there to replace the king because he wasn't there. The lords, the lords in London, the 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 lords uh, uh, are there doing the king's job. How many of them? Four hundred to do just one king's job. I'm going to do the job myself. 